All right, guys. Welcome back to DN Door Commentary. So we have Stu here. Hi, Stu here again. Again. <laughs> so we got yeah. Red Nose Pigfish. All right. I I don't even want to know how you came <laughs> up with that name. <laughs> I'd like to know how a lot of these guys come up with these names on DM, but <laughs> Cleese again, Damn, wonderful. Oh my god, so much Cleese. I, I, I don't know, man. 905 here, and the the announcer, so he's ready to smash. <laughs> <laughs> with 1091. But it's so much Cleese. Did you see, did you see um, are you subscribed to Mega Capital G? Oh yeah. Did you see his video uploaded about Tell Knights yeah. being the best deck? <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say that. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I played the Teller Knights before. I know they're not the best deck. Like, mm -hmm. just because they got one new exceed. No, no. In this entire video, he's like, oh my god, but they can beat Shadal. They can beat Burning Wrist. They can beat Shadal. They can beat Burning Wrist. I'm like, did Cleese just not become a deck anymore? <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 all right, it's Infernoids, right? It yeah. Has to be. Now he's just gonna mill. Oh. Oh that's... damn! Wow. No inferno. <laughs> no. Nice. Single inferno. And he called the number right. Yeah, you're either gonna call four or three because they just play card trooper, light swords. Damn, that's true. That's it. So there's not a lot to call. It's not like you're gonna try to call the boss master. No, oh, he's got the luminous. Oh god. Is it skill drain time? Yep. Oh, the vanity. <laughs> oh, no. <That> was <laughs> damn. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I think you might have just scoop phase. Scoop it up, man. I swear to God, out of all the debt, you better hope that you get that Lila. Surprised all... playing Lumina. Yeah. So did... Inferno has played that, but whatever. I mean, it's more milling, and then it gives you access to more plays in your after deck. I mean, I'm Invernoids. I'm not a big fan of them. I, I don't know. You're, you're just a modified version of skill is trash. <laughs> you know, it's just like, hey. Hey, I play Infernoids with Light Swords. Okay, and what? And what is that? Like Twilight, <laughs> Fire Twilight? Like that's literally how you are. Except you're, you're even you're even weaker to freaking uh, massive special summon negation. Like you need to get something. If you can't get that Vanity's off the field, you blatantly lose. I don't know. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, like his boss monster is the best thing that he needs to get out, and with that Vanity's on the field, locking it down. <laughs> so what do you think about me changing my channel just to Yu-Gi-Oh? What's your opinion on that? Oh, uh, well, I I don't really care, man. I still watch the videos. Like, like I watched a little bit of the Pokemon and stuff, but the other stuff, not a whole lot. So, I mean, I think it's better to just do Yu-Gi-Oh to go to that audience, that intended audience more. <clears throat> <sighs> yeah, I got so much work. Well, everything is pretty much done except for Pokemon, which I'm just gonna pretty much do until it's over. Cause you can't just end Pokemon in the middle like that. That's a story-based game, so I gotta finish that up. And after that, it, I guess I'll just go down to just three videos a day, which is fine. Cause I can't cut out anything else, you know. <laughs> yeah, except on the weekends you just get four videos, right? Or no, 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 three. No, no, yeah, you get four because of the tag partners. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So when's that video going to be on Capital G's channel? I've been waiting for it. I, I still need to work on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, just, I literally, I just brought up the topic, and he's like, oh, that's a good idea, and then I haven't really worked on it. <laughs> yeah. Because I generally don't like networking or uploading other people's channel because they chew me out because, you know, I'm different. I don't like that. And I also don't like getting people, you know, getting the people who allow me to upload on my channel dislikes on the channel. Like... If you dislike me, then come onto my channel and dislike my shit. Like, don't freaking. Yeah. Okay, that was a weird play. I was. No. I guess he wants to kill his own vanity so he can just go ham and win. Okay, okay. I to <laughs> say, I would have took the duel slow. I wouldn't even risk it. I would have just take the duel slow. I win eventually. No. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> have you never seen enemy controller before? <laughs> No, he wants it. Well, I guess if he really wanted to, he could put it to defense and then bounce it, but that would just be stupid. <laughs> so anyway, he can use Raiden, mill two more, and then... Did he already use Scout this turn? No, he did not. So he'll probably do that and go for game, so... 
Yeah, this might be it. Yeah. No, everybody is impressed with how good Inferno are since they beat me on that episode of Daily Duels when I was using Cleese. I just didn't get any in my background. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It was just... You, you don't get back row against some decks. You're just not going to win. It's like Fire Fist. You don't get back row against Fire Fist. It's pretty hard to win. Unless yeah. you're playing, like, floaty deck. Floaty deck deck. Which is pretty much everything right now, but, I mean, back in the day. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just saw the disc, and it's just like, nope, scoop it out. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, Monolith is expensive. Yeah, but it is secret rare, of course. OCG only plays one of them. I've been doing a lot of research with uh, OCG. Yeah, yeah I think either one or two is the right number for that. And they're not playing any of the uh, uh, soul. Was it soul transition? Yeah, soul transition. Yeah, OCG, they took it completely out of the deck. They don't run that card anymore. Don't know why, it seems like a really good card. It's, Just... the, it's the first effect that you can't have any special summon monsters and you can't special summon the turn you use it. It's like, damn. So pretty much if you have a monster that's pendulum summoned, it's a dead card. She dead draw it. Yeah, I guess. But so. it can net a lot of advantage early, early game at least. Yeah, it's a it's a definitely an early game card, but late game card. Yeah. And you know, Cleeks have a terrible top deck game, you know. If, if that scout gets destroyed and they don't have any way of getting another scout, <laughs> they run out of steam. You know, scout is the leader of that deck. Yeah, it seems like they always top deck scout on me, but pff, that's just me. <laughs> no, Burning Abyss is just a, just a whole new monster. So, uh, you know, their support was good. Uh, Teller Knights, you know, Diamond helps. You know. Uh, you know, definitely uh, Shadow Mist coming out. I mean, Dark Law coming out is going to definitely be a changer. You know, you know what's another thing that I don't like about this whole Light Sword Infernoid thing? What? You have the same exact fucking problem that Light Swords have. You can't side. Because <laughs> I know you put. I guess. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, you're milling. That's the problem. <laughs> I know. Oh, look at the announcer. He just put in that twister. Where is it? It melts to the graveyard. Fantastic. You know, this is one of the big problems with light swords. It's really difficult to side because you're always milling. You might mill your side. Yeah, that happened with me a lot in Chaos Dragons. Besides <laughs> Shadow, Shadow Mirror and just ended up milling it. It was just bad, but... Uh. I bet he wish he wouldn't have that twister right now. <laughs> no. Uh... You know, I'd say there's only one deck that's just kind of falling, in in my opinion. I think that's Shadal's. Oh uh, yeah, just watching the most tirated guys on Dueling Live, like, like there's no Shadal's. Yeah, it's, it's just so all Cleas. You know, Vexen gets uploaded videos, it's like, is it worth picking up Shadal's? Like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, if you want to go ahead and play it for fun, then, and then this is a great time to pick it up. It's pretty cheap. But if you're trying to, if you think you're going to pick up Shadal's and run down to your YCS and you know win with it? I, um, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, Cleese are Cleese are stronger than you. Burning Abyss are stronger than you. You know, especially since they're getting wiser. You know, Burning Abyss are starting to take out some of their trap cards, and you know, Denkoseka is good, but she's not as good since people are becoming wiser of her existence. Uh, you know, to tell her knights can take you now with a uh, diamond. Uh, your your support in Secrets Eternity was the butts. Like, your deck didn't evolve. Cleese evolved. Teller Knights evolved. Shadals they didn't evolve. Oh, Burning Abyss, they evolved. What, <laughs> what did Shadals do? They got the shittiest fusion card and the shittiest fusion. <laughs> oh, that's Konami for you. <laughs> yep. So, you know, they, they're just falling behind. And then you have In the Darkness waiting, popping up, a deck that's, the new deck that's probably gonna crush you and put you in your place too. And that's, of course, Necros. That matchup is terrible. Really bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, <laughs> you already got the three of the other top decks beating you, and then you're gonna have another additional deck coming to beat you. you know? So maybe, hopefully, your ability to take advantage of Dark Law will allow you to come back. But, you know, freaking uh, Burning Abyss can do the same thing, so... 
pretty weird play that. Yeah, What's that this was, guy's name? That Red Nose weird. Pigfish. Yeah, that was a pretty weird play. So you put Carrier in the zone, but then you summon Monolith. Like, shouldn't it have been like the other way around? <laughs> I guess he really wanted a 24 beater, I guess. Yeah, it was the only way to get past Raiden, but he's going to summon Antodil and. Isn't that the one who attacks twice? Yeah. Yeah, but the second effect isn't going to do that much because it's really nothing to banish. Mm. In Cleaves, at least. <laughs> is that... No, that's the one that can make a second attack, is the Antodel. Did he get the second attack in? No. He, he decided not to, uh, I guess. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah. No, it has to send it to the graveyard, that's why. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow, yep. Shards upon Fat Sensei Damn, that sucks. Really? I'll go ahead and turn. So you're activating Lila Effect. You're gonna target that. You change the bad position, then you destroy, right? Yeah, if you and if you do destroy, so. Go ahead yeah. and turn that Lila to defense mode. Turn it to defense mode. <laughs> <laughs> Must have a fairy wind or something in his hand if he's not gonna get rid of that scout, because I mean, that's the card you need to get rid of. Okay, yeah, he did do that backwards. If he would have put the monolith and then normal summon the carrier, he had the soul transition right God, there. God, two he twisters. See, he had the he had the mono he had the monolith right there. He could normal summon. He had the transition. He could have just go ahead and played the transition and bounced the freaking Antondel right back to the hand. Yeah, Andrew, that would be better. Yeah, he just messed out that play. If you're gonna use that card, you gotta play it right. Don't know why I announced to get rid of that scout because he doesn't have. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't get rid of that. What scout. the heck? Like, get rid of that scout. Like, there is no like, Lila pop, not scout, and then when you activate scout, is that good? Yo, that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> scout, that's not what I'm worried about. Like, scout's the fucking leader of the deck. Like, you get rid of scout immediately. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know you're not running freaking twisters to pop his face down. You're popping it. You're, you're running twisters to pop that scout. But then when you get the opportunity, you pop the scout. You don't pop the scout. What did you think that Lila said? Set spell or trap or something? Oh, well, that would be terrible. It's not like Ghost Trick Olicard or something. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Wonder how salty he is that he milled all three twisters, all three of them. I told. I what I say. I said side game's hard. <laughs> Personally, I feel spell shattering is better, but I guess you can use Twister against other matchups. Mm. You don't have to announce that you're Pendulum Summoning, nor how many you're summoning. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everyone does, though. <laughs> I mean, I can't talk when I do my freaking uh, live web videos. I always say Sync 8. I technically don't have to tell you shit. Cause it's, not, it's an inherent summon. It's not like a, I'm going, hey, I'm sinking into eight. Do you want to respond? <laughs> like, no. S sink or eight. Like, sink. That's it. <laughs> you can respond after I'm done. <laughs> like, inherent summons. On activation. What could that set be? Oh, skill prisoner? And what the heck does that do? During play, turn this guy's into something and can bend this card. Target one card you control this turn. It can't be targeted by effects. Okay, so what's the point of that? I don't really see. <laughs> what was the point of that? I don't understand. Seems just like a waste, in my opinion, but whatever. <laughs> you know, you could chain that to when he does target you, not that Cleese really target. Do they? Not really. Carrier does at least. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Right. You, you need to get <laughs> yeah, you need to get out your fucking Onuchu on 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 Why? Why Konami? Why do you do this why do you do this to me? On <laughs> how do you say that? The boss monster. Anunchu, I think. Anunchu. You need to get him out immediately. I can I can give him four nerds that. Anunchu is the shit against fucking killer. <laughs> I like that. 
tower effect. All right, go ahead. Probably gonna kill the Lila, I guess. Yeah, yeah. No, dumb. I would have. I would have killed him. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Been the same result anyway. I guess that was a better play since he wouldn't take two hundred life points. Ooh. Right, please tell me you can summon Mister Unknown Chi, because that would be awesome. Like one of the very few ways to kill. To kill killer. <laughs> there is the burial. Nice. Mm. Wonder if this deck ever becomes a big threat if people are gonna start siding Iron Wall again. This seems yeah. like it just shuts down their whole deck. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it does. You know, if Vanity's running around, that pretty much shuts it down too. Oh. Yeah, but they're they're not inherent summons though. Or they are inherent summons, so you can't chain vanities on it. See, he has to play it right now. Mm-hmm. Ooh! <laughs> nice! Damn! <laughs> He's like, uh, answer right here? Like, damn! Banish three, go ahead and summon him. Yep. Well, can you banish first? <laughs> One, two, three. Yep, and killer is gone. Killer is gone. Killer is Killer. gone. <laughs> Killer is gone. He's ten. You're ten. You're gone. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. You're in shock. Like my invisible tower. It's crumbling. Yes, it's gone. <laughs> Nigga, send you down in the graveyard. Damn. <laughs> Guess he's too dumb to count the number of stars on the. Oh no, her the. What the hell the heck do you pronounce that Unu Nuku <laughs> guy, whatever he's called? Fucking Grunix clone. You have an effect like Grunix, you have fire like Grunix, you kind of look like Grunix. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he happens that activates that scout, you can go ahead and tribute itself to negate. I like that it says when they spell trap. When they spell trap. Or effect is activated. I like that. So, shit, it can negate like fucking Black Garden when it's summoned. It's gonna be pretty hard for Red to get out of this situation, I guess. Yeah. I wonder how many. I wonder how many um, Infernoids are left in the graveyard. I think like two. That, bur that burial is quick as fuck, though. Yep. It's pretty late in the game, so I really can't say number generating, and he did mill. He opened up with it, though. Or he drew it, but he, he didn't mill it, so that's a good thing. I, don't, I think he needed that burial to do that play, so. Wow, alright. Like, really? You don't want to negate that. Because he wants to keep his guy on the field, but... But he can get rid of your guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I said, I'm not sure if he's going to be activating any more spell or trap cards during this turn, so. He could probably handle you without. Because Pendulum Summon doesn't count as activating the card. No, that's, that's a game mechanic, so. Oh, no. So you can't negate the Pendulum Summon. You can't do that. Uh, this looks like a Bottomless or Solemn Morning set. But I don't even think he plays it. I don't think they have time for it, no. I mean, they might, but like I said, a lot of milling. I probably wouldn't even, if I played the deck, I probably wouldn't play cards like that. Just to scare the shit out of my opponent and think that I always have it, you know? Because as soon as you mill that bottom list, they never, you know? That's a mental game. You don't have to, you know, worry about the bottom list. But if you don't play it and they think that you have the bottom list, which you really don't, then they're always going to be on edge. I do them 7-3. You got that solid morning? You don't have to say 3. Shit. <laughs> You gotta have an out to this, or it's not gonna be looking that good. Cause uh -uh, yeah. Get a nuke his board, and then that probably will be game. Yeah. I don't think he can come back from this. Like I said, that burial is very helpful. Tribute two for disc effect, effect, effect. Yeah, I think I think that might be it. Oh, again with the skill prisoner. Still attack over it though. Yep. Yeah, but it survives you for the turn, I guess. I think. What? He's gonna get out two more. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's see. So 100. Take 100 plus the 24 plus the 218s. Yeah, he only takes 61. So he survives for the turn. So disc attack over the boss monster guy because of the minus 300. Oh, no, the plus 300 on the Cleaves. So, my math is actually wrong. 21, 21, 27. Yeah. So that... 21, 21, 27. 7,000. So, he still is. <laughs> He's trying to take the... The 18. That's not 18. I know. There you go. <laughs> yep. If only you can make a cowboy right about now. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah, let's turn it on. He said, wow, what you got? Reasoning, oh shit. Is he the top deck of the century? Will he be able to come back with this powerful reasoning? Depends how many mills. If he mills a whole bunch, he actually could. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. There's, there's two. Uh, there's three. There's four. <laughs> oh god. And then right, it's done, so. Yep, he might have came back to in this. Oh yeah, now I can blow up the field, attack for game. Woo, woo, Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that top deck though, I should message the shit out of him and be like that top deck now. It's all because of that skill prisoner that he was able to stay in the duel, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. That skill prisoner. If he didn't have that skill prisoner, then he would have lost though. Wow, a top deck though. <laughs> He's like, wow, <laughs> that's it. Still in shock. He hasn't even killed him yet. <laughs> that's it. So game three we go. Yeah, game three. Damn. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I thought he seriously misplayed when he didn't negate that scout, but that top deck, that Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> that is Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs>